guys and welcome back to my channel uh, today I have filmed a smoky eye tutorial on this look right here it's a very warm tone smoky eye with some purple in the crease along with a bunch of other shades and this really nice orangey red shade from Makeup Geek it's one of the foiled eyeshadows if you want to see how I created this look then please keep on watching I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this look. Mwah. So, let's get started with this tutorial. As you can see, I've already done my base. So, the next thing is eyes. And as usual, I'm going to start off my eye makeup using my transition shade. And I'm going to pick up Chickadee from Makeup Geek. That's the shade. I love this shade so much because it's not overpowering. It's got that perfect amount of warmth, which I love. You know I live for warmth. So I'm just applying that onto my crease. And then I'm just buffing it upwards. shade is perfect if you have yellow toned skin it's a perfect transition shade see how I'm just adding more colour as I go and then I'm just going to move on to the next eye Okay guys, so in this clip I am just blending my eyeshadow some more and I added the shade Mocha, also from Makeup Geek, um, in the outer V just for some extra dimension. And then I'm going to pick up my favourite shade in the whole world, Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. I'm going to apply that directly on top of that cool shade that I just applied Mocha I love these Makeup Geek shadows because they're so pigmented sometimes you forget to not shove your brush in there and you pick up so much shadow Cocoa Bear is just life Then I'm picking up my Morphe brush, this is the MB25. When I first got this brush, I didn't think I was going to love it. I didn't think it would really do a good job at blending. But it's actually amazing. I'm surprised because you wouldn't think it because it's so thick. But it is actually really good. For days that I need to get ready really quickly, I'll just use this brush in my crease. Just use a warm brown shade and I'm done, literally. I don't need to use 10 brushes just for one eye like I usually do. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to pick up a flat shader brush and I'm going to spritz a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on it. So, get that nice and wet. And then I'm going to dip my brush into Flamethrower. Uh, look at that. Let me swatch it for you guys. Amazing, right? I find with these shadows, if you pat them onto the eye, they adhere a lot more better onto the skin. So now that I've done that, I'm going to use this beautiful plum shade, also from Makeup Geek. This wasn't supposed to be a Makeup Geek tutorial, I don't know, I've just got my Z palette here. And, oh hey Beats. Yeah, as I was saying, I've got my um, Z palette here. And they contain all Makeup Geek products, and it's just staring at me, it'll just use me. 
this really nice deep cranberry plummy shade i'm picking that up with my tapered blending brush and i'm just going to apply that in the outer v if you haven't already realized i love layering my eyeshadows especially on my crease i just love lots of dimension so i'm just blending that into my into that flamethrower shade Okay, so now that we've done both lids, I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line using, I think I'm going to use that same plum colour again. Then I'm going to pick up this flat definer brush from OPV and I'm just going to just pick up a matte black and just, just apply that close to my lash line as possible. As close as I can get it. going to pick up my pencil brush and I'm just blending that out with that purple shade I just used. This just gives it that extra smoky look. See, for this look, I was going to add glitter, but I don't think I want to anymore. I think I like it how it is. I was thinking like um, a silver glitter, so it's got that contrast between the warm tones and the cool tones. But I think I like it like this. Okay, so I'm going to go back and use a little bit more of that purple shade. Bitten from Makeup Geek. Because I feel like I've lost a bit of that after applying this black. I'm just going to apply that directly on top. I'm taking this quite far down because I do like a really smoky lower lash line. But you don't need to take it this low down if you don't want. I just have huge eyes so I feel like I can get away with it. Here I am highlighting my inner tear dot with the That Glow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just like that and this really opens up the eyes after you've applied all those dark shadows. I'm just going to get my big fluffy face brush and just get rid of any fallout that you may have. Next comes eyeliner, my favourite part. So I'm just going to pick up my favourite eyeliner in the whole world, NYC Liquid Liner. This liner I have been using for so many years. The thing about this eyeliner is I used to use it all the time and they always had it in super drugs this is store over here in the UK and it was only like a pound or just a little bit more than a pound I can't remember the exact amount but it was really cheap and then all of a sudden they just discontinued it or I don't know I just couldn't find it anymore and then when I went to America last year I found it in is it Dwayne Reed and I was like oh my god that's my favorite eyeliner so I literally stocked up I must have bought I literally bought every single pack that they had in store and um, yeah, I must have picked up about 20 and I'm still using them, so yeah. That's my little story about the NYC Liquid Liner. If you haven't tried it, you need to try it, it's amazing. If you want a more in-depth tutorial of how I do my liner, just let me know and I'll try doing that for you. So for about the next 10 seconds, I'll go a little quiet as I'm applying my liner. But as you can see, this is how I do it. It's soft, gentle, short strokes. And that does the job.
I do love a very exaggerated wing. Obviously, you don't have to go as far out as this. You can do a little baby wing if you want. I just love big, dramatic wings. See how much of a difference bottom lashes make. This is fierce, like power, and this is like, oh hey, chilling. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to apply this eye pencil from Makeup Geek. Um, it's a full spectrum one in the color Plumeria. I've never actually used this shade. Ooh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Could use that lip primer. So I'm just going to apply that in my waterline. I've always been really weird like about applying like a reddish shade in my waterline. Like does that look freaky? I don't know. It's kind of cool though, it goes with the whole lower lash line look. I'm going to apply these house lashes, lashes in Pixie Locks. I'm going to apply that with my House of Lashes glue. I sort of apply them to a tilt so they're standing upwards rather than standing flat. So now moving on to lips, I am lining my lips with 315 Lip Pencil from Kiko Cosmetics. And then to fill in my lips, I am using Bombshell Liquid Lipstick by OPV Cosmetics and I am just blending that in to the lip liner that I had already applied. As you can see, I am overlining my lips with this. I feel with this brush you can overline your lips really easily. See the difference? See how much sharper and larger my lips look on this side compared to this side? And this is a liquid lipstick so it will dry matte. It does take a, a few minutes for it to dry. But once it's dry, the colour kind of changes as well. It goes a lot more sort of darker. But I do like the colour it turns into. Although I'm liking this colour too, I'm going to apply this liquid lips from Canaan Cosmetics. Not sure on the shade, I think it's just called number 5. It's a really nice peachy pink shade. You can see that. I'm just going to apply that just on top. And just sort of blend it in with my finger. Okay, so on top of that, I'm just going to apply this Clinique lipstick. Um, it's a really random lipstick, like. I don't even know why I bought it. It's called Adore You and it's a butter shine lipstick. To be honest, I used to wear this lipstick all the time when I was younger. And I haven't worn it in such a long time. But I don't know, I think it'll look nice on top of this. So. So this is the final look guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, I hope you like this look, if you do please give it a thumbs up and yeah I'll see you in the next video, thank you for watching, Mwah. oh no I've got lip gloss.